Sarah Maslin near co-author Raymond White Jr. with the second book in the Once Upon a Horse series that was inspired by the true story of the first black female jockey, Cheryl White. Let's go to Maggie Wolfendale. Please be joined here by Sarah Maslin Neer and Raymond White Jr. And Sarah, you're here to promote a very special book. And it's about a woman who broke the barriers. Cheryl White became the first female black jockey in America. Yes, she was an unbelievable person. She did this when she was 17 years old in 1971. It's actually Raymond White's sister here, and I'm the co-author. I'm a reporter for the New York Times, but I became fascinated with Cheryl's story. Here was this boundary-breaking woman, and she's been erased from history, and Raymond and I decided to put her back on the map. Well, Raymond, you jokingly said that while you pretty much held every job at the racetrack you're just a little too big to be a jockey so Cheryl took to that yes yeah, she she took that I was I was an exercise rider at one time in my my life and uh but she was uh I don't know I, she probably would have been a better jockey than me so <laughs> what are you hoping that people get out of this book and remember or refine Cheryl's story I hope that it changes the narrative of people saying they didn't they never heard of her they didn't know about her um, there was one time that she was viral, everybody knew who she was, and then over the years it just kind of faded. So we're trying to establish back on, in history, her place in history, um, so that she's included in different halls of fame and just, just so people know who she is. So. And she donned the cover of Jet Magazine back in 1971, Sarah. So it's not like she, she, you know, her story wasn't out there at that time. But I think it's so important this day and age to bring it back to life. I absolutely agree. You know, she wasn't a novelty. She had 750 career wins. She was a Serena and Venus Williams of her time. And really, she's been removed from the narrative. And Raymond really says it well. We didn't write this book to inspire people to become jockeys. We inspired kids to become astronauts, to become doctors, senators. Even if people don't look like you, you don't see that representation in a field, you can break in, you can live your dream just like Cheryl did. Where can we find your book? You can find it anywhere books are sold. And I'm actually holding, believe it or not, a toy of Cheryl White made by the Briar Model Horse Company, the first real black equestrian they've made in 75 years. It comes with Cheryl and her racehorse, Jet Alera. And I'm going to tell you something really special. Today is the 52nd anniversary of Cheryl's first winning ride on this horse. That is amazing. Yes. Both of you, thank you so much for sharing Cheryl's story with us. Thank you. Really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you so much. Well, you get a copy for yourself, too. Again, the second book of this Once Upon a Horse series. Here it is. And you had actually met Cheryl White before. Yeah, met Cheryl White a, a few times. And listen, she was legendary in, in jockey uh, lore, in, in the history of our game. Everybody knew about Cheryl White. She was the first female rider to win five races in a day at the Fresno Fair. She was also very accomplished in unrecognized racing, match races on, on, on bull rings and fairs. She was four-time Appaloosa leading rider. Um, and to think what she did in a time when female riders were not accepted. It was, it was a brand new thing. A woman of color to break down the barriers she did. Absolute legend. And I've got to get that briar for my granddaughter, Isabella. Yeah, get it for yourself, the jockey and her horse, as we get set for race four.